How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going for a drive through Sudbury to Kiwi Park. We're taking just about to hop on the Kingsway from Falcon Bridge Highway right now and we're gonna see how Beta handles it. Stay tuned, uh, I'm gonna be posting a lot more self-driving videos around Sudbury in Northern Ontario. Uh, very curious to see how the software handles uh, our unforgiving roads up north here. What I will try and do as well, when we stop at intersections, I'm gonna try and speed up the footage just because there's no need to be looking at nothing happening. So right now, we'll speed things up a little bit. That way we can carry on through our drive. Um, yeah, so to tell that full self-driving is active, if you look at the screen, it might be a little hard to tell, but there's a little blue line in front of my car showing the direction the car wants to go in. And it's gonna proceed through this intersection here, and you can see where it plans to go by the blue line on the screen. Uh, you can also tell that we're in full self driving mode when the blue steering wheel on the top left of the screen is active. Anyways, I'm not gonna be talking too, too much, um, only when I need to. Enjoy the ride and uh, thanks for watching. So I was a little nervous going into this corner. Wasn't sure how Beta was gonna handle it. This is the dreaded Kingsway S-curve. So goes through the intersection well. It's not driving too, too fast. It's quite a bit of traffic too, so it can't really go any faster than the traffic. But the lanes are luckily pretty good here. So the car actually went through without an issue, which is great. Hopefully the shakiness isn't too bad. There's quite a few manholes right where the tires go, plus potholes. So we're proceeding through this intersection normally. And the car decides to suddenly switch lanes right in the middle of the intersection. So that's no good. So we are going to report that by clicking the camera icon there, which basically sends the uh, snapshot of what just happened to the Tesla engineers. We notice that happens quite a bit, but now the car is trying to get into the opposite lane. As you can tell on the screen, it's, it's kind of showing that it's trying to get over there. And luckily it does. But I've noticed pretty often with my beta drives that the car will switch lanes in the middle of the intersection, no signal, or weird things like that. Here it does well, it's moving into the left lane, stopping with the traffic here. We'll speed things up a little bit here. And in case you're wondering, I drive a 2022 Model 3 long range. We're going through here. The car is doing actually a very good job at staying in the center. There's no lanes there. And as we head towards this next intersection, it's very smooth. So, so far so good, except for that little mess up in the intersection there. 
like I, I should say, beta is, that's why it's called beta, it's because it's, it's still in the testing phase, it's not anywhere near convenient to use yet, because you have to stay so alert, because you don't know if the car is going to do something unpredictable. <laughs> um, Overall, it's actually pretty good, but it's just those weird little things that you have to really keep your hands close to the wheel so you can intervene. This corner up here, I was a little interested to see what was going to happen, but it ended up handling it no problem. Slow the footage down here so we can see the approach to the next intersection. So I'm going to actually cancel the route because I had it set to go to Buzzy Browns, but as I'm doing this, the car is changing lanes kind of for no reason. But it's all good. We're going to continue straight anyways. It's probably better to stay in the, in the right lane nonetheless. So instead of going to Buzzy Browns, we're going to try that new corner store in the south end near just past Kiwi Park. So that's where we're headed. Gonna slow the footage down here again because something interesting happens where these people are in the middle of the road so I take over because I didn't want to trust beta with those people's lives the one girl is holding a baby and everything I was like no that's that's not happening so I disengaged but re-engaged right after uh, there's some chances I just don't <laughs> you just don't want to take So we got another weird thing about to happen here, kind of a random lane change. And then for some reason the car wanted to go into this turning lane here. When the route was saying it needed to go forward, so I disengaged again, moved it back over, reported it, and re-engaged here. So, just another little weird thing, like, uh, it's very strange sometimes. So the car can definitely handle driving straight pretty well with no issues. So for the most part, I might as well have it speed up because there's not much to look at unless you want to watch a 30 minute video of me driving straight. Um, so in future videos, I'll try to do more left, right turns, uh, stop signs, stuff like that. More like, uh, like urban areas. Cause on the highway and on like straight roads like this it's not much action going on so yeah in the future video uh i'm gonna actually take the tesla on a unmarked back road and see how it handles and because you can you can use the full self-driving without any lanes which is pretty awesome and then also i'll do some urban area driving like in new Sudbury subdivisions and whatnot and we'll get some really good uh situations going on so stay tuned for that Thanks very much for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.